Hello beautiful souls. Today is a very special day. It is the 7th International World Yoga Day. It is the longest day of the year, also marked by the summer solstice. And it is also the Fête de la Musique. It is amazing, isn't it, how one day can be marked by so many different events. Being an ardent yoga practitioner, I thought what better day than today to throw a light on and talk about the importance of yoga in the 21st century. India is a country so rich in its culture, traditions and heritage. And so it comes as to no surprise that the word and the concept of yoga was first developed and put into practice in this very country about 5,000 years ago. The word yoga was first used in the ancient holy Indian scriptures of the Rig Veda. And ever since over the years, yoga has transformed and developed and taken so many different forms. Hatha Yoga, Vinayasa Yoga, Power Yoga, Aerial Yoga, so on and so forth. And this is what we call today modern yoga. The word yoga itself means to join or to unite. The union between your mind, body, breath, soul and every single cell of your body. When all these elements come together and become one single entity, that is yoga. Studies have suggested that yoga helps with cardiovascular diseases, lowering blood pressure, lowering levels of stress, anxiety and depression and also in the development and improvement of cognitive functions. Yoga when done the right way has the same neuroplastic effects on the brain as with any aerobic exercise. What's more is that yoga also helps with weight loss, improving flexibility, building muscle strength, endurance and also prevents the muscles from attaining muscular atrophy. In addition to all these benefits, evidence also show that yoga helps with building mental resilience, clarity of thought and brings about a balance in your overall body. So if I was to sum this up in two words, I would say that yoga helps with the overall mental, physical, spiritual, social, you name it, the overall well-being. Yoga focuses your attention on your body's abilities in the present moment. That is what everyone is talking about and emphasizing on, right? Living in the present moment, living each day as if it were your last, being present and aware of everything that you are doing. Present, such an overly used word. Some of you may even think of it as a cliche. But guess what? It wouldn't be a cliche if it wasn't true, right? Living with this very element of awareness, being aware of the way you eat, sleep, move, walk, breathe, live, work and exercise. That element of awareness is what is important today more than anything else in today's contemporary world given how the events in the world are shaping out to be. Which is why practicing yoga will help train your mind and build that mental resilience so that when you encounter any situation, good or bad, you are trained and prepared to counter that situation head on and approach that situation with logical and rational thinking rather than approaching that very same situation with an irrational, erratic or an impulsive behavior. This is the very reason that yoga has gained international recognition and popularity so much so that every year on the 21st of June, we mark the importance of yoga by celebrating World Yoga Day. Today, yoga is also one of the most preferred forms of physical activity. As per the United Nations, this year's theme of International Yoga Day is yoga and well-being. The theme highlights the urgent need to address the mental health dimension given how the pandemic has panned out. In addition to the physical aspects, it also highlights how the practice of yoga can promote the holistic health of every individual. If you're new to yoga, if you're already practicing yoga, or if you've been wanting to try out this form of physical activity for a long time, but there's only one excuse stopping you, which is, I don't have time, then I urge each and every one of you to make time at least 10 to 15 minutes in your entire day and practice some element of yoga. It could either be two or three asanas, pranayam, deep breathing, or simply sitting in silence with your eyes closed. It is never too late to start. 
throughout the day we will be posting yoga tutorials there is also plenty of data and other resources available online so please do make use of it take charge of your health get up and get moving namaste